day we are on the Mount Chavano Trail and the summit of Mount Chavano is a 14er. We started at about 8.40 in the morning. It's a 4.6 mile one way hike up and we're about 0.2.3 miles in. The yeah, starting elevation is 9,760 and there's something like a 4,700 foot elevation gain for this particular hike. It's a nice location, it's about 10 miles from our campsite in Salida. at the end of a very long and rough dirt road on BLM property. Beautiful sunny day. Bright green colors, dark blue sky, no wind here in the woods, probably 70 degrees. Perfect weather for a hike. We are about one mile into the hike of a 4.6 mile one way. You can see it's quite steep. That's a so-called switchback, but not much of one. We're still deep in the forest and there's lots of these, uh, what I call little baby heads, small rocks that roll every time you step on them. <laughs> Just like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. <laughs> okay, uh, but uh, Kelly's doing awesome. Just uh, non-stop trekking uphill. And it's very peaceful. You can hear the wind blowing through the pine trees and the... I hear the birds chirping. See, it's a pretty rough trail. Quite steep. This is steeper than normal stairs you'll find anywhere. Very uneven. You can hear me breathing hard just by taking this first half a minute of steps. As a Texan, coming up to Colorado, I don't have any of this high altitude acclimatization, except for the week that I've been here. At so it says we're doing about 36 minutes a mile. Big steps here. One point three five miles into the hike. You can see how steep this is right here. Looks to be about forty degrees, 
45 maybe. It's uh, maybe 40, 35 to 40. Pretty steep. You can see there the slope. Pretty steep. Maybe 30 to 40. We're making our way up. Kelly's breaking away from the pack. Show you my footsteps. You can see how big of steps I'm having to take. See the kind of rocks I'm having to go over. Not that much easier carrying a phone and two sticks. Lose my balance. Starting to flatten out a bit here. It's all relative. A little bit flatter. Now I'm going down a little bit. I think this might be flat. So some of the gear we're traveling with today, um, got lucky poles, microcarbon, micro vario carbon, excuse me. I got a his and a hers, one's longer than the other. She's wearing a, I believe it's an Osprey Raven day pack. It's mainly for biking. It works great for hiking too. I'm wearing a old, old, old Camelback. Oh wait, is this a, this might be North Face. Anyway, old, back when they built things better with better materials so this is backpack spin indestructible but otherwise I'm wearing Oboe's leather hiking boots they're uh, not really made for summer but they are very comfortable and they got good ankle support and of course waterproof so you can get through any shallow creek crossings and the rest of my gear is just basic hiking stuff running the mill pants i think they might be um, Prana, but I guess that's not run of the mill, but hey, look, my boots are going to come in handy. Wearing a, just a SPF or UPF shirt and a hat to cover my head. Wearing these uh, sun gloves. And just have a few miscellaneous supplies in the backpack. 
filled my camelback bladder up to like two liters probably more than I need for what we're doing but like more the only problem with these camelbacks is they don't have the the good hip support that is supposed to distribute weight so okay all the weight on my shoulders which is not fun at the end of the day but if you want to travel light that's the way to go I have a bear spray canister but I don't expect to see bears but I'm overly cautious about that since I'm not native utility knife um, pull over made by Patagonia and two little mini payday candy bars little bitty ones that are about an inch to two inches long I've been eating too much food this whole trip anyway so didn't see the need to stuff myself on a hike oh well, look we found campers well this is pretty this is uh, at about 1.6 miles in We've got lots of uh, running water if you need to fill the water bladder with filtered water trail goes straight up alongside I assume most people know this but it is not safe to drink mountain stream water you have to filter it. You must filter it or else risk getting bacteria, getting very bad stomach illnesses. Yes, you could take your chance if you were desperate, but even desperate, I would be apprehensive. So up ahead, you can see a peak. There are two peaks here. Mount Sh Sh Shamano Peak and one farther on the trail called Taba Gooch or something like that. I don't know if we're looking at the first or the second, but we're seeing one peak for sure. That is a long, long ways from here. There's a nice creek crossing with the makeshift bridge. Kelly aced it. Oh, that's beautiful. Run off down the middle of the walking trail, which is usually the case. All right, we just have passed the um, first major switchback, which is 11,760 feet, I think. And it's about two miles into the hike. Kelly's already off to walking. You can see the, the valley way down there below. You can see some snow on the side. You can see some scree up there. Tough hiking has not ended. It's kind of like a hard packed dirt, but lots of these big jagged rocks along the way. And uh, 
steep fall off to the right. You can really feel the burn in your quads. And constant labored breathing at this altitude. At this current pace, we'd expect to be there at around noon, it's 10 a.m. Continue the hike up. Someone was nice enough to put in some very big log steps. Kelly's making her way up. This is the view from the top down below. Okay, it's official. We're at the alpine line, the tree line. It's 11 a.m. We've been hiking for two hours and 20 minutes. It says we've gained 2,429 feet. And hike 3.3 miles. Kelly is the Alpine. Again, uh, just a perfect day for this. Winds, as you can hear. We are well above the tree line. You can see there's no trees in sight. they're doing but they're in the snow and we're headed up on this trail right here we are well above the tree line you can see there's no trees in sight
this uh, snow decline, you can see ski tracks, and you can see three people in the snow.
our descent. Although we didn't make it to the summit, the peak, we made it very close. Made it to the saddle that's flat right in front of the last push. The wind was just unbearable even in mid-afternoon. We're still above the alpine level. Taking our time going down. Looking forward to some trees. Not being pushed sideways by wind. This is one of the most challenging 14ers I've of the uh, difficult trail terrain and mostly because of this brutal wind. I think we could have done it without the wind, but the wind shut it down today. We were there, we were close enough. But we got this view in front of us. 